Hey, hello and welcome to Designer by Design. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create split text effect in PowerPoint. Split text effects can be created in multiple ways, like simple line split. Let me remove the extra pictures here. You can split by shape, split by combination of shapes, or a freestyle split. Just to show you the split, let me remove the top portion of this word so you can understand what's being split. All right, let's get started. First, add the text and format it to the desired size. For simple split, draw a thin rectangle and place them over the text. In this example, I'm going to show a slice split effect. So I'm going to rotate the rectangle. Once the shape is placed, select the rectangle, then select the text. Now go up to the format menu, select merge shapes command and select fragment. You will now notice that the text is cut along the border of the rectangle and taking its color. Remove the rectangle pieces and any unwanted pieces just like how you see in the letter C and in the middle of D. Now, to show the difference, I'm going to color the lower half of the text with a color and the upper half with a different color. For slice effect, select the top portion of the text above the cut rectangle and move them a little bit left. To split the text by any shape, select any shape and draw it over the text. Place the shape over the text in your desired position. Then follow the same procedure. Select the shape, then the text and apply the fragment command. Once done, you can color the split text as you like it. Color the border white and increase the border width for a desired style. To split by combination of images, draw all the desired shape that you need and place them over the text. Here, I am simply replicating the triangle and placing them all along the text. Now, before fragmenting, select all the shapes that you drew from the merge shape command, select union. This command basically combines all the shapes that was selected. Now, select the shape and text and apply fragment command. and color that split text as desired. To apply gradient shade, select the pieces that you want to color and group them. Now, any color applied is not applied just to one single object, but for the entire group. See, here the gradient style is applied to the complete group. For freestyle split, select the free drawing or an arc shape and draw your desired shape. Once done, apply the fragment command. Here I am going to group the lower text. As I said, any style applied will be applied to the group. So select the group, from the shape fill menu, select picture, search and browse a picture. This gets applied to the whole group, which is basically the lower half of the word. You may either leave the upper half plain and simple or fill it with another image. You may optionally apply any other style as you wish. Here, I am adding a bevel height for a 3D look. I hope you found this video helpful. To improve your PowerPoint skills, do subscribe to Designer by Design. See you in another video. Take care.